let's open the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. Okay, using my pen knife. Okay. Welcome. Inside the welcome pack is a um, SD card. What's in the SD card? Software and manual. All right, so this is a regular sized SD card. SDHC, wow. The mini recorder. No accessories at all. Okay, pull it out. Okay, so this is SDI in and this is HDMI in. And it looks like that SDI, HDMI. And on the other side is the Thunderbolt connector. Very lightweight, very small. The good thing is you don't need any power supply. And I bought two of these. Okay, I've got another one to open. I shall not record this. There you go. I have two Ultra Studio Mini recorders. I have one more Intensity Shuttle USB 3 to open up. I'll open this later after testing my two mini recorders. Early on, the recording of me unboxing the mini recorder was using the Sony MC50. Now I'm switching back to my iPhone 6 to record this unboxing. Why? Because I'll be using the Sony MC50 to do the test. So what do we have? Okay, again I have two new Thunderbolt cables. Half a meter, very short. It cost $38, Singapore dollars. And I'm doing the unboxing. Right, this is half a meter. And it's going to attach to the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. Goes like this. And then on the other end, it's exactly the same. We'll go into the MacBook Pro. So here's one set up. And now the other one. Curve upside down. So the first Thunderbolt will go into rather here, the first Thunderbolt. And the second Thunderbolt cable will go into the second one. Well, to ensure my 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 book pro is working all the way i'm gonna put in the power supply and now for the hdmi cable let me show you my old 15 meters hdmi cable okay with a mini hdmi adapter this is the new one how much is it it's 30 dollars okay 30 dollars singapore dollars and i'm gonna open this up Right, nothing else inside. It's only the cable. Five meters. Okay, going to set up the system right now. One HDMI cable will go into the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. The second HDMI cable will go into the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. Now this end of the HDMI will go into the smaller camera. Now the other HDMI cable goes to the bigger camera. Okay, and it's going to sit on this tripod. All set. Now to check whether it works. All right. I have set up my two cameras, okay, they are on and ready, and they are powered by AC. <clears throat> they are both connected via HDMI cable into the two new Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. It is now connected to, via Thunderbolt cables, into the MacBook Pro. I've already set up the OBS software. By the way, 
the mini recorder feels hot after connected for about a few minutes right it's rather hot so if you're going to plan to put this in an enclosed area make sure it has some proper blowers to ventilate it okay it's it's not just warm it's hot now let me show you the settings i've done in obs okay under general there's not much to change language is english and team is default then under stream all right streaming services facebook live and later on, I'm going to key in the stream key for the new stream. Under output, output, what do we have? Okay, I've chosen, actually, I've chosen simple. Okay, I, I don't want to do anything complicated or advanced. Okay, simple. Bit rate will be at 2,500. And audio bit rate will be 192. That's for streaming, all right. Then for recording, recording to hard drive. Okay, I've chosen my external hard drive, which is this fella. It will be recorded into here. All right, and the settings. Settings will be MP4, high quality medium file size. I don't want a large file size because it's going to be two hours of recording. All right, I've chosen MP4. And then the encoder is the H264. Okay, so that's output settings. Now for audio. Audio by default it's like 41, 44.1 kilohertz. Okay, I'll leave it as it is. Next video. What can we set here? Base canvas, I left it at full HD, 1920 times 1080. Okay, output. Output scale resolution, uh, I put it as uh, 1280 times 720. Okay, because I'm, we're going through Facebook and leave it as uh, HD 720 format because it's going to be a very big file for two hours of video. Okay, the downscale filter, I'll, I'll leave it as the chosen one. But anyway, I chose this because it sounds better instead of blurry if scaling. If I choose 32 samples, okay, I may fall back if something slows down. So let's choose the middle one. And the common FPS value, 30. Next, we have hotkeys. I'll be coming here to change something later on during the live broadcast. I don't know whether I can do it, but I'm going to try. And finally, in advanced. Okay, what do we have here? I didn't change anything here i'll leave them as they are oh yes i changed the i changed the stream delay okay i'm experimenting stream delay i enable it put it to five seconds okay see what happens and uh, i left this on automatically reconnect okay enabled i've already set up two scenes one scene for each black magic camera okay one of them video capture device i just pop it for you to see and you can see it's black magic ultra studio mini recorder if you look at the choices i have three one is the webcam and the other one is the other black magic ultra studio mini recorder okay which is the other camera all right so where's the other camera the other camera goes to scene two over here let me show it to you All right which is the second one okay the white shot okay so this is the white shot and this is the close-up shot and if you see some text here because i added text as well over here okay this is going to be a test so I don't want people to waste time watching if they thought they're going to learn something, right? Okay, so I'm almost ready to test the system. So how do we go about starting a, a professional Facebook live streaming? First, you go to your Facebook page. All right, this is my Facebook page. Just let me show you. Okay, this is my Facebook page, facebook.com 
slash video link. If you look up at the menu, top menu, you will see publishing tools. Okay, click into publishing tools. And what do you have? Okay, you get a series of publishing tools. What we want is videos. Okay, click into videos. And then you will see a series of options right here. This is your past, or rather my past videos. And there's an option here called live, plus live. Okay, this is how we start. Click on the plus live button. And then we'll be presented with a dialog box. Okay, what it says here is, this will create a live video that is streamed directly from a professional video equipment or encoding software. This is not for creating live videos from your computer's webcam. Okay, not from your webcam. So I have professional video equipment and I have encoding software, which is the OBS you saw just now. Okay, by the way, I'm, I'm using Chrome to look at Facebook right now. Let me do the setup right in front of you. Okay, secure, no need. All I need is... Uh... Oh dear, I'm supposed to keep it secret. Okay, you can't see it. It's off the screen now. Okay, I'm going to copy the streaming. Okay, it says... It says information. Keep the streaming, keep the stream key secret. Anyone can use it to stream video to your post. This stream key is valid for seven days. When you preview the video, you will have up to five hours to give, go live. If you need more time, create a new stream key closer to the time. Okay, I'm gonna copy the stream key. Copy. And now going back to OBS setting stream bring it closer to you and paste my stream key here paste then i should be ready okay click okay now let's go back to google okay give it a title i'm going to call it multi camera streaming test at the bottom I have an option to go live or schedule live okay I want to go live now so how do I do it I have to go back into my OBS software First, I will start recording into my hard drive. Start recording. Okay, into the hard drive. And then I'll do start streaming. Click start streaming. It says, are you sure you want to start streaming? I say yes. Let me go back to Facebook. All right. He has detected my streaming. Okay, it's fetching video stream right now. There you go. It's there. It's still under preview. Okay, it's still under preview. And um, and now the button says go live. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go live soon. Let me press this. Go live. What happens next? Things are changing. I'm going live. I'm testing the Facebook multi camera live system. So I can see from my screen now there is live, there's a rectangle, red shape, a, re a red rectangle with the word live. Mm -hmm.